North Stradbroke Island, traditionally called Minjeriba, is a wildlife haven. Kangaroos bask in the sun, koalas doze in the gums. We regularly have koalas visit our home. This marsupial's home could be demolished. The tree is on a block selected for reclassification under the Redland Council's city plan. I would be very saddened to see development go across. 25 lots are earmarked for rezoning, covering 249 hectares. They would expand Point Lookout on Mulumba in the east, the township of Amity or Pullen Pullen in the north, and the island's gateway in the west, Dunwich or Gumpy. The proposed zones include low density residential development, tourist accommodation, and community facilities. There's already strains and pressures on, on the public utilities um, here. Biologist Dr Geoffrey Gerhardt says the island's koalas have a rare resistance to chlamydia. For some unknown reason, some mysterious reason, they don't um, show signs of the disease. The species is clinging to existence. This year it was listed as endangered. We need to learn what it is that makes them resistance, resistant against chlamydia in order to save uh, koalas on the mainland. The Queensland Government directed the Council to change its planning scheme so the native title holders, the Kwandamuka people, could develop the land as they wish. That included housing for traditional owners and economic opportunities. We can keep saving the habitat as much as we can, but people need to reflect on what damage was done where the current developments happened as well. And do they want to exchange that development there for leaving the land as it is? I guess not. The island is in the grip of a housing crisis exacerbated by an explosion in short-term rentals. Locals have suggested that instead of bushland, areas already cleared are used for building homes. There's hundreds and hundreds of hectares of former mining areas. They even have roads leading to them. The public has until Monday to give feedback on the rezoning that could seal the fate of the island's fauna. Alexander Lewis, ABC News, North Stradbroke Island.